Super Productions. Post fight review Canelo versus Ryder. So, all right. Well, I predicted it was going to go on points. Possibly it could have been a late stoppage, but yeah, it was points. It, it was what I said it was anyway. In my um, recent video in regards to hoping that Ryder knocks out Canelo. Anyway, you move on. So, from round two, Ryder's nose was busted. Uh, yeah. His nose was busted. You could clearly see he was struggling for a couple of rounds with the nose. Uh, then he gets dropped in round five. Obviously, the way Canelo... One thing I will say, what Canelo does, like, he's a very... He does not waste his shots. He's like, like, like Tank Davis, he's a guy who never wastes his shots. He makes sure, like... Yeah, he, he uses every single shot, so... As much as a lot of things, <clears throat> sorry about that. As much as a lot of things I do criticize about Canelo, one thing I have to say, Canelo, when it comes to land, like he does not waste shots, and you got to give him credit. The way he set it, set it up, the run, the one-two, he kept obviously prior to that, he kept throwing, obviously come kind of like that looping, that looping right hand over. Then he switched it down the pipe. Yeah, quality, quality. Uh, obviously, I know there was a lot of pressure for Canelo talking about he needs to knock out John Ryder. Uh, I did not see that happening because John Ryder comes across as a guy who's very durable, a guy who stays in the gym, a guy who's, yeah, that, yeah, he would give it his all. But the thing with John Ryder, actually, before I move on to that, let me just get on for the whole fight. So, yeah, from round. Was it? He, yeah, to be honest with you, there's been a couple of rounds where you like Tony, Tony Sims could have could have pulled Ryder out of the fight, but let's be real, Ryder was giving it his all. Like obviously he was out of his depth. Like let's be real, yeah. Canelo was just yeah a couple of classes above Ryder, but Ryder was not late. He refused to lay down. His will will not. His will will not allow him to lay down. We've got to give it credit. Busted nose from the, from the, from the end of the second round. Just kept, yeah, grinding, grinding it through. Give dishing out Canelo, giving Canelo some. Pushing him back, yeah? Like, there's a lot of things that Ryder could have done. He could have obviously forced himself upon him more, but you know what, he gave it, he gave it all. He could, he could do what he, he had, what his what his limit his limitations he gave it his all, so there's nothing that Ryder <coughs> could have done. Just maybe he could have just avoid, yeah, could have just kept the concentration up to to avoid that uppercut landing that busted his nose. Other than that, there's yeah, he has he has nothing to be ashamed about. He gave it his all, and that's all fight fans want. And from here, I know his stock's gonna go for the roof. Mexican fans are gonna love him for that. American, now American, like he put himself notice that there's gonna be a lot of American fighters out there. They'll be like, oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, I wanna take on a John Ryder. Let me see what I could do against him. You know, John Ryder will give it his all, and I hope it's onwards and upwards for him. Yeah, he did wasn't in there to survive. He didn't want to survive the 12 rounds like something like a Callum Smith did. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, he was in there to say, you know what? I'm going for this, yeah? Now, yeah, saying all that, the John Ryder, yeah, depending on what he wants to do, but there are quite a few options for him. Now, with Canelo, which I'll be dropping in my next video, a lot of people out there I'm going to tell you this right now before I drop out. Canelo is not um, declining. He's not declining. Yeah. He's not declining. And I'll drop it in my next video why I say that. Might, might, maybe his reaction time or little things, like little smart, slight little, little things. But he works on that in experience. All right. One thing I'll say about this as well. 
a lot of people might be talking about yeah you know Canelo had had no head movement and all this kind of stuff there bro the reason why he didn't have no head movement as, as much in this fight because he knew he could not be hurt by John Ryder's punches that's what it is Canelo going in there against a a real puncher you're going to see that head movement Canelo going in there um yeah, yeah, like I said, against a real puncher, uh, someone with who has the skill that Canelo has to work a bit more, you will see a different, you will see a different approach from Canelo. Canelo just did what he had to do. Obviously, he wanted to knock out Ryder, but Ryder, he, his will will not allow him, so he made him work physically, but not mentally in this fight. Yeah, that's what it is. That's all it is. Yeah, Canelo. Yeah. He, he, he was he was what he was physically working in this fight, as in like Ryder was standing, dishing out what he could, but not mentally. That's all it is. Anyway, I'll drop it in my next video and give you a breakdown why I say Canelo is not declining. And yeah, do not let me know your thoughts. All right, it's a larger phenomenal.